What's up YouTube, it's your boy Pedro here again with something new. So right now I have my Sony A73, so I'm using it as a webcam and yo, the camera quality clean. So right now I'm on a zoom call, right? So let me show you how to do this. Roll intro. So what I'm going to teach you is very important, right? Where yo, you want your your live streaming thing to go up, like the quality level and also the audio level, right? Instead of buying that dongle thingy where you have a conic and then use OBS and the whole works and yo, it kind of slow down your computer when using OBS. Worse when you don't really have a fast computer, right? So let's get into this. So before I get into this, all of the download links will be in the description, right? So you click on the link in the description, scroll down. I'm using a Mac, so you choose the type of computer that you're using. After you download the software, you install it, blah, 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 blah. So for me, I shall be using Zoom since I'm on a Zoom call, right? So basically, once you install the software, you need two things for your camera to work like that, right? You need a Type-C USB cable. So there are quite a few set settings you need to do before you connect your camera to the computer. First, you need to turn off airplane mode. Uh, go into USB setting and turn on PC remote, right? And when you're going to connect your camera, make sure that your camera battery is fully charged up. Outside of that, even if your camera battery is not fully charged up, the, based on the type of Sony camera that you're using, uh, for example, I'm using the A7 III, well, it's being charged right now. So right now I'm using the Sony A7 III, so the battery is fully charged up, but because of the type of ca Sony Alpha camera that I'm using. So right now, my camera battery is fully charged up, even though I have on a battery pack. But because of the type of Sony camera that I'm using, it is being charged. Meanwhile, I'm on a Zoom call. Cool. So open up your preferred program. So my program right now is Zoom. So when you go to video setting, you're going to see Sony camera image edge. And you have um, FaceTime HD camera. But then you know that yo, you plug in the camera. So Sony image edge is going to come up. So once you plug in the camera, once you plug in the camera, it sh should come up like this. Mm. Let me see how it looks. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Oh, and another thing is you want to install the software. Bear in mind that it's just really a plugin. So you're not going to see the software on the computer. So it, based on the type of platform that you're using for um, live streaming or yeah, well, live streaming, you just need to click on the type of camera you're using because it is connected to your camera as a webcam so it will pick it up as a webcam if you get what i mean right so because i'm connected right now to the camera i'm getting my audio device from a, a zoom h5 because apparently getting audio from the camera is not going to work through the through this type of setup so you need to use a different audio source which i'm using the zoom h5 for my audio source right now and it works pretty sounds good to me looks good so it's very this is a very simple setup yo i thought i had to buy a dongle which costs at least 300 US dollars just to do this live streaming thing and I said, wow, there must be some other way. But Sony, Sony, you did it. So basically, that's how simple it is. But as I said for the audio part, because my audio is not, con my mic is not connected right now because I'm using it. Because I don't want, my mic is not connected right now because I'm using the mic to record this video. If I had another mic then. Because I'm using the built-in speaker currently, so that's why you might see the levels going up because I'm using a built-in speaker. But once I plug in an external mic, 
then this option will change then you see this the zoom h5 right there cool and then basically that's it that's how easy it is like using your camera as a webcam that's so easy it is and even though using a camera as a webcam you can still record using you can still press the record button on the camera and you still get the that crispy clean footage same way so i guess that's it and i hope you learned something today so yo i saved like 300 dollars today right because like the dongle thing would have been a problem for me because I, I re i'm not really into the whole live streaming thing like that but yo i saved a lot just by learning this so i'll see you again in the next one like comment subscribe for more